This is Rick Grizz here, back here again with another video for y'all today. Okay, I'm going to do something that I don't think nobody has tried yet. I don't think so. But I'm getting the Grizzly Dark Select and the Copenhagen Black. And I'm going to mix them together to make a smoked bourbon dip. Because the Grizzly Dark Select is a smoked flavored dip and the uh, Copenhagen Black is a bourbon dip so I'm gonna mix them together and make some bourbon dip day or smoke bourbon dip day so let's get started on this shit start with a I got an empty can of dark uh, wintergreen so take a pretty good pinch of the uh, uh, dark slick Pretty good pan trial there. Alright, And this good old top of name black that I don't really like. Shit, I'm getting dip everywhere already. I just cleaned this fucking place. Oh man, I only took one pinch out of this black. I am. Pretty good pinch of uh, Copenhagen black. Man, that shit's fine. It's crazy. It's fine to tell you. But, mix it together. Shake it up a little bit. Get the stuff started. So yeah, hopefully it tastes pretty good. I actually want to try this for a while since I found out black and dark slate that came out. I've never seen nobody mix them together before, so I just want to see how it be. And all that. I think that's pretty good. It smells like it smells like something I've smelled before. I don't know what a smell is. It smells like bourbon. It really does. I got that much. Pretty good dip. Well, time for the taste tester to see if it's pretty good or not. Hopefully. So let like that sit in there and uh, mix together and see if it tastes any good or not. Um, the uh, the uh, Copenhagen Black is kind of overpowering the uh, dark select a little bit. It's kind of weird because I put more dark select than I did uh, black. But it's not that bad, really. You, you can taste the... Uh, Smokiness from the uh, dark select, and you, and you taste a little bit of the bourbon of the black, and it's a pretty good mix, honestly. I would actually do it more, not to uh, drown out that nastiness of the uh, black. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of black of my last video that you probably saw, but it's pretty good. It's not bad, like I thought it'd be. Pretty good, pretty good. But, uh, hey, I don't know what to say. Um, if y'all want shirts like this, the Dip Talk shirts, you can go on rednecknationgear.com and get them. And if you want other things like mud jugs, go on mudjug.com. There's snuffskin.com. You can get little covers for your dip. That's for snuffskin. Uh, there's spit bud. It's like a knockoff of a mud jug, but they're still pretty good. It has like a little convenient thing on the bottom of it. It's like you can put your dip can. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'd rather have a mud jug over a spit mud jug thing. Whatever you call them. I don't know what the hell you call them. But, uh, if you're looking for some strong dips and all that, go to the Northerner website. I'll put the links down below for y'all and everything. Uh, the Northern website, you can get, like, any kind of dip. So, uh, Swedish snooze, American snooze, American tobacco, all kinds of crap. The strongest dip out there, you can get that. Just go check them out. They're a pretty cool page and all that. And uh, another dipping, or another tobacco thing is uh, Tough Got You. Shout out to them, man. I can't wait until y'all stock get back up. I want to get some of that damn uh, orange and uh, vanilla. 
I can't wait for that. I'm gonna do some videos on that shit. But these, this dip, it's really good. I, I really thought it would not be that good. But um, yeah. So y'all keep make my channel grow. I'm, I'm at finally 70 subscribers. I'm like way like a little over halfway there getting my 100 subscribers and all that for this channel and so y'all keep hitting that subscribe button like button share button whatever you want to do but y'all stay classy and y'all be good man